Yeah. We're live. Thank you. Uh, good morning. My name is oh, Justin. One second, sir. Oh, sorry. <laughs> one second, sir. Not a problem. Sergeants, can we start the recordings, please? Thank you. Sergeant Hope, you're opening. Thank you. Good morning, and welcome to the New York City Council Remote Hearing on Resiliency on Waterfronts. At this time, with all council members and council staff, please turn on your videos. Thank you. To minimize disruption, please place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. Thank you. Chair Brannan, we're ready to begin. Thank you so much, Sergeant. Um, good morning, everyone. My name is Justin Brannan. I'm the chair of the Committee uh, on Resiliency on Waterfronts here in the New York City Council. Today, we'll vote on two bills that would help ensure buildings and infrastructure throughout the city are resilient and built to withstand the effects of climate change. Coastal flooding, heat waves, and severe storms are becoming more intense and occurring more frequently. To prepare for the impacts of climate change, buildings and infrastructure throughout the city must incorporate resilient design and resilient siting. The Mayor's Office of Resiliency has drafted non-binding discretionary climate resiliency design guidelines, which provides guidance for planners on how to consider future hazards of heat, precipitation, and sea level rise in the design of buildings and infrastructure. Proposed intro 2092A, sponsored by Council Member Consentinitis, would codify these guidelines. The Office of Long-Term Planning and Sustainability would develop climate resiliency design guidelines informed by both the current guidelines and a five-year pilot program evaluating potential resiliency features in city capital projects. OLTPS with other city agencies, environmental justice organizations, and members of the public with expertise in climate resiliency, climate design, the built environment, uh, engineering and environmental justice issues would then be able to use these guidelines to develop a climate resiliency score metric for all city capital projects. Proposed intro 2198A, sponsored by Councilman Matteo, would add additional freeboard for most newly constructed or substantially improved or renovated buildings located in the floodplain to provide additional flood proofing. I'd now like to call on Councilmember Consentinitis to address uh, his bill proposed intro 2092A. Costa. Thank you, Chair Brandon. Thank you for all that you do to make our city uh, more sustainable, more resilient every day, brother. Right on, thank you. Um, you know, as a city on the sea, we are literally on the front lines of the fight to secure a livable climate. And we've made great strides in our city in making it more sustainable. But the reality is we have to really prepare for worst case scenarios. Uh, as we saw during Hurricane Sandy, much of our infrastructure is woefully unprepared to deal with the worst impacts of climate change. That's why it's so critical that we set resiliency standards for everything we build in New York City. Climate planning must now be the cornerstone of everything that we do. Now, if we have to ask if something was built with sustainability and resiliency in mind, then we should just send it back to the drawing board. Uh, that's where intro 2092 comes in. It requires the city to create a pilot program for resiliency design guidelines, making them mandatory. And once they're complete, they're having this scoring metric that you talked about for projects. It's at a minimum standard for resiliency that every subsequent project must meet. Again, I wanna really thank you for your leadership, brother, and all that you do uh, to make our city more resilient. I wanna thank all of your staff and. Uh, and you know, the, the attorney for the Resiliency Committee as well, uh, Janie Babishi and the whole team at MOR uh, for getting the ball rolling on the creation of these guidelines and for pushing so hard. And really I wanna thank the advocates. Uh, we were thus in, at that rally last week, rallying for this bill with the Rise to Resilience Coalition. Uh, so really thank you the Rise to Resilience Coalition, all the coalition members there who are every day working on alien, issues of resilience that are so very important to our city. So uh, thank you for holding us accountable and thank you for pushing this forward to the advocates. And of course, my staff as well, Nicholas Wazowski, uh, my counsel. Uh, thank you very much. Right on, Costa, thank you. 
Yeah, as we all know, environmental justice is racial justice, is economic justice. None of this stuff happens in a silo. Um, and, and these bills today are really what I like to call no brainers, um, but they did not exist until now. And that's thanks in large, large part from the environmental justice groups who, who push us and keep us honest. And, and it's a great partnership because uh, they, they become the, our climate change conscience and they, they make sure that we're doing the right thing and that we're, we're thinking about ways to improve our system that maybe we hadn't been thinking of immediately. Um, I also I also want to thank uh, my committee counsel Jessica Alvin for all of her great work. Um, I also want to acknowledge that we've been joined by other members of the committee, um, Councilwoman Rose, Councilman Diaz Sr., and Councilman Ulrich. Um, and with that, I will ask the clerk to call the roll, unless anyone else has uh, anything anything to say. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Resiliency in Waterfronts, introductions 2092A and 2198A. Items are coupled, Chair Brannon. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Rose. On all. Constantinidis. Aye on all. Ruben Diaz, Sr. I don't know. Thank you. Ulrich. Uh, I vote I on all. Okay, by a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, both items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Great. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, and uh, congratulations, Costa and Councilman Matteo, and we'll see you later at the state. I have to adjourn, right? This meeting? Yes. <laughs> this meeting has been adjourned. Thank you.